A crystal is a solid material, the atoms or molecules of which are arranged in an orderly repeating pattern. In some solids, the organization of building blocks, that is, atoms or molecules, can be random or very different throughout the whole substance. Due to this repeating pattern, crystals can take interesting shapes. When producing a crystal, we break all the building blocks of molecules into individual elements in water and allow them to naturally take up their proper position in the repeating pattern after the water evaporates. In the experiment, we will grow crystals on colored stones Open the bottle with a chemical. Fill three fourths of the container with water. Then we pour some rocks for the crystal to grow on in another container. Now dissolve the chemical in hot water in a quantity large enough for the solution to become saturated, that is not to dissolve further. As you do this, leave a small number of crystals so that they can serve as seeds, that is a scaffold for crystal growth. Now it stops dissolving. After this, pour this solution on the rocks so that it would cover these rocks a little. And you need to take several big crystals and add them to the solution. The branches of other crystals will grow on the substrate of these crystals. After that, put the container in a place where nobody will touch it and where it will not be subjected to temperature gradient. You can cover the container by a sheet of paper to keep away the dust. If the crystals are left unperturbed, they will grow larger and larger in a few com coming days. As soon as the first crystal grows and reaches the surface, the solution should be merged. After that, let the crystals dry for one day. A few days later, we can see how our crystals grow on the rocks. We also tried our another method and used small strings instead of rocks, here and here. As you can see, the shape of the crystal on the string is totally different, but also interesting. And you can also experiment on both rocks and strings.